uh, you know, it never gets old. Anytime you uh, sign up for a team, you always want to keep going until you get to the championship and hopefully win the last game of your, of your season. So this is just another step that we were uh, ready to take. We took it and on to the finals. All, all done? <laughs> you guys uh, were up 8-7. to seven. Obviously, they scored the first goal in the fourth quarter, but then you managed to score the next three. I mean, just talk about that run and what that meant to basically stop the bleeding and then to control the game again. Yeah, I think we had them 8-3 at one mm -hmm. point, yep. but we knew they were going to come back on us. Well, not, we didn't want them to, but, you know, it's yeah. a, they're a good team. They're in the semis, so we had a feeling they'd have a little run there, and, you know, thank God we're, we're a mentally tough team, and, you know, a couple guys get big goals, like that guy over there, and, you know, we just – we found a way to do it as a team, just like we've done all year. There's not one guy who, uh, you know, we, we don't rely on just one guy to have a good game. We rely on, you know, 17 guys to have good games. And, you know, when 17 guys have good games, that's, that's what happens. So, yeah, we answered the bell there, you know, took the game back over and got out of there with a win. Well, they're both great goalies, so, you know, the, and uh, anytime a team gets this far in the season, you usually have a pretty good goalie back there. So, yeah, you know, I think we outshot them pretty good there. And like you said, Rosie was, you know, dead on there in the start. But, you know, we just we just trust in the game plan and trust in each other, and they're going to drop when we, when we really need them. So, and tonight that's what happened, you know. And like you said, Matt Vince, we, pff, enough said. It, it, the guy's incredible. You know, he, he probably could be the player of the game every game, but – you know, we got to pass that around a little bit. So, but he's a, you know, what a, what a difference he, he's made this year. And I, I mean, it's a team effort, but as far as, uh, you know, the only one guy who plays all 60 minutes, and that's Matt Mintz, and yeah, there's a reason for that. Talk a little about that difference. Obviously, missing the playoffs the past two years, and I guess coming and having your championship. What was kind of the formula for success so far? Uh, just, you know, I think Chugger did a great job getting pieces together and, you know, finishing. <laughs> bad there two years got us some high picks so we uh chugger made the most of those picks and you know it was those were a rough two years for sure but you know i think me and jt's whole message this whole year was just be a good teammate and if we have you know all the guys buying in and from top to bottom you know we have two league mvps who had to uh you know kind of change their game a little bit for the betterment of the team, and they did. And that's that's what makes a great team. Our rookies came in, you know, Matt Spanger, a couple other guys we pick up, you know, uh, off kind of the, the trash heap, and but they fit right in. They were great players in our system. So it's uh, it's really kind of unbelievable to go from two years, you know, missing the playoffs to now we're in the finals. Kind of still a little bit surreal. If I told you before the game that Toronto's power play was going to play as well as it did, you might be a little nervous, but you guys played so well five on five, you were able to overcome the power play. Yeah, I think would they have seven or eight, and I think four were power plays. So obviously, and you know, Adam Jones is a great shooter, and we had it. Uh, we'll have to do a better job of if someone gets hot finding them and you know taking them out of the game. But five on five, I think our D was just dead on. Our O was good five on five, and you know I I think the power plays were eight or nine to two, at which I'm not sure they played that clean or we played that dirty. But it seemed like uh, they got too many and we didn't get enough. Eh, I'm a I'm a bias though, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what, you know, it's really tough on coaches. You know, JT has to make it, we both have to sit one guy every game. And Sweets was kind of on the short end of that there for a couple games. Then OC gets hit in the face in the warm-ups, and he gets back in there, and he makes the most of it. You know, it, and then tonight, he like you said, he gets a big goal early. There at the end, they were, uh, had the extra uh, pulling their goalie. He just hopped in there like a goalie and soaked one, right? I think it looked like he hit him right in the chest, and, he you know, he didn't even flinch. And that's the type of players we love. He, uh, what's best for the team? If I got to take a ball right to the chest, then that's what I'm going to do. If I have to go down and score, that's what I'm going to do. If I have to sit a game or two, I, that's what I'm going to do. And these guys have been great all year of just being good teammates. And uh, I, I can't say enough about the players. I tell them all the time, coaches talk, players walk. And, they, you know, they've been walking pretty Dewey Cox. They've been walking hard. <laughs> <laughs>